Hello, hello, Lee. God bless you. You are a bold and courageous woman of God. You're a woman of health and healing, not just for yourself, but for nations. I just call you forth as a woman of business breakthrough. As I was praying, um, I felt like I was just highlighting different words like nutrition um, and children and children's books. I felt strongly like there's a calling on your life to write children's books. Um, there's a scripture also, I think it's Psalm 45, one. Psalm 45, one says, I'm reading it from my laptop. My heart is overflowing with a good thing. I recite my composition concerning the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I was just thinking about you writing, writing lots of books and books that bring breakthrough for kids spiritually and even emotionally, financially, and um, yeah, nutritionally. Books of breakthrough, just various areas where God wants to like bring breakthrough for kids. Um, even their sexual identity, um, there, there would be wisdom. I feel like he'll give you strategy in the secret place on how to teach a child about who they are. You know, you're a girl, you're a girl, you're a boy, you're a boy. Anything that would teach these kids to stay away from the confusion and the perversion of this world and the, and the confusion. I even think of a book right now that's teaching children um, that men can actually give birth to babies, which is just stupid. And, and I, even the people that are releasing this, they have common sense to know that it's not possible. However, <laughs> it's so sad these days we have to write books to actually teach children things that should be common sense. And there's no way a man can give birth to a, a baby. And there's a book out there right now out there published and I feel like God's saying go hard for the Lord in your books especially for kids go hard for the Lord in your releasing the content too I feel like he's going to give you such a strong voice online just to really contend I see you as someone that's creating prayer watches for children um like in the night watch I do these right now um but he's he's looking for multiple watchmen not just like like there are other people doing this but he's looking for multiple people who will stand and pray I think of you as a Nehemiah right now watch and pray stand still and really contend um you're a Nehemiah who's gonna fight 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 for righteousness fight in prayer and build as you're writing God will or sorry as you're praying and fighting God will give you ideas like in the in the night watch he'll start to give you like your book you might get a download that whole night and you're just like okay the book is here I'm still fighting in prayer but I have this book here um there's just different ideas come to mind as a watchman um just dig deep on that the watchman and nehemiah check out the book of nehemiah the the thing that he's highlighting to me is when they repented and they spent time in the word for like one fourth of the day um they were pray, praying and fasting and then they just spent time reading the word and i feel like as you eat the word you're going to get even more revelation on your business um he'll speak to you about your business and, and like even you being used as a healer for children Praise God that you, um, as you found the video, the first video, you were actually laying hands on your son. I feel like there's more to come. I even see you in children's ministry, like just like um, really just bringing breakthrough, even dancing, dancing with children, um, having such fun and freedom, just releasing joy over kids and just laying hands, prophesying over them in children's ministry. I feel like God's going to use you so powerfully as a voice for kids. You are a mandated reporter. I even felt like um, as I prayed over that, um, he was saying like, not just a mandated reporter, but a mandated reporter for the Lord. Like you're one who calls out sin. You call out the confusion. You call out the deception in the world and you shut it down in prayer in Jesus name. So you are bold as a lion. You are righteous and holy. Praise God for the redemption and the forgiveness. I thank God for your life that you uh, desire to see your mother healed. I feel like he's going to use you powerfully just to lift up a voice, uh, a, a, a weeping voice um, in this generation for the children that have been raped and molested and abused and that you're going to really contend for those families that are just leaving the door open to this. Um, unfortunately, it's sad that some parents don't believe their children. There are children out there that literally will say, I don't feel comfortable with this adult. I don't feel comfortable being hugged. I don't feel comfortable being touched. And some people see that as disrespect, but we really need to be ones who listen to the voice of children. And you are one, you are one. And God is so proud of you that you are one who takes, um, you, t you really listen to the voice of a child. You really pray for them. You, you um, contend for them. And God is going to use you on an international level to be contending and praying for kids. And really, um, I feel like even people are going to fly you out to just speak at conferences, um, focus on um, children and how to equip families 
on how to really raise up powerful children that move in the Holy Ghost. So God is uh, using you for such a time as this. As a nutri nutritional breakthrough warrior queen. It sounds a little interesting, but that's what I heard. Um, a nutritional breakthrough warrior queen. I think of Queen Esther. You're going to bring such nutrition to kids. I feel like um, even I see like what's coming to mind is like TV shows, like um, online TV shows or something like that, where you are um, just producing content that talks about kids eating healthy and kids um, really feeding on their spiritual um, food. You know, like the the word of the Lord um, is, is their food, you know. Um, and so they eat the word of God and they're growing spiritually and they're growing in the fruit of the spirit and they're growing and knowing who they are in Christ. But I feel like you're also going to create things. I think of smoothies right now, um, healthy smoothies for kids. Some kids are really so stuck on sugar. Um, they don't realize they need more, you know, some nutrition. There's nutrition that they, there, some, a lot of kids are missing. And I feel like there's a fun way that you can create videos where kids are going to love, uh, to eat healthy, um, and have fun too. Yeah, I'm doing something similar right now, so that's pretty cool. Um, I see that in you too. And I just praise God for your life. I praise God for your life. I also felt like, um, as I was reading through, um, praise God that you want your mom healed. And I just felt like um, God was just bringing up like the like the healing, even a deeper healing that he wants to do in your life. And um, just to continue to forgive, continue to release um, anything that comes up um, from your past childhood um, I feel like he's going to deal with some memories um, and like memory recall right now. I just curse the root of any attack right now um, over your daughter in Jesus' name. I speak the blood of Jesus over her mind, the blood of Jesus to cover and clean out anything that is not of you, God. I just feel like um, just ask him like today and just ongoing like, Jesus, who do you want me to forgive? Yourself, another person, whoever it is. It might even be like forgiving like a uh, location, um, organization, um, multiple people uh, under an organization or something, whatever it looks like, just ask him and then just release. I choose to forgive, let's say Betsy for any way she neglected me, abandoned me, um, offended me, whatever it is. I choose to forgive her. I uh, bless her with peace, direction, guidance. I bless her with your every spiritual blessing in the Bible, God. I just want the best for this person, that they would know your ways, they would know your truth, and they would receive healing in Jesus' name. And release, I release them. I release them completely, all of it, God. I cut off ungodly soul ties. Yeah, ask the Lord if there's any severing that he wants you to do. In the spiritual realm, just sever every ungodly soul tie. There'd be no open door to the wrong friendships. Um, wrong connections. I feel like as, as you, um, increase in, um, he's going to expand your territory as you grow, as you dig deep, as you meditate on the word of God, as you get strategy and he's going to show you who's who too. Um, he's going to show you who's who he's going to show you who you can trust. I thank you. Thank you God for wise counsel over your daughter that she'd be surrounded by individuals that would actually lift her up. Um, not ones who would tear her down out of jealousy. So I just thank God for what he's doing. You're going to be used so powerfully. There's so much favor on your life. And I pray for God's uh, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthroughs, his promises to come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm just looking to make sure I didn't miss anything because I actually wrote some notes down before I came on here to record this. And I want to make sure I got every uh, word down. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Okay. So I did, I did. Um, so when I was praying about the business breakthrough, I heard the word eBooks as well. And I heard that books are your breakthrough. So dig deep on the books. I do feel like you have children's books and other books as well. So dig deep on the books and ask the Holy Spirit, what kind of eBooks he would like you to release? Cause I feel like there is, there is an income stream of eBooks for you and like a, a significant, um, income stream concerning eBooks. So definitely check in with the Lord on that. Pray over everything. Let me know if it resonates, but thank you so much for your courage, your boldness, and praise God for how he's going to use you for such a time as this. Amen. Take care.